Nanorobots are super tiny robots which are near or smaller than the scale of a nanometer. In other words, they're really fucking small. They're so small, in fact, that if you held 100 nanorobots in your hand, you wouldn't be able to see them. Okay, so why would anything this small be important at all? These robots are an emerging technology with promising benefits to society. There's been few but substantial projects that include the use of nanorobots so far. Rice University created a single molecule car titled the Nano Car. Its size being 3 to 4 nanometers, a little over the width of a strand of DNA. This car runs off a chemical process and is stationed on top of Buckminster Fullerene, I think that's right, wheels, which are a microscopic version of buckyballs. This car is controlled by changes in temperature using a scanning tunneling microscope tip. Now the nano car is cool and all, but it's not really a robot. It's more just a microscopic car that Rice University built. Some more practical uses of nano robots will come to the medical field. The use of nano robots in medicine has already begun. With research into nano robots that would enter the bloodstream, researchers have begun testing on living organisms. One of the goals of this technology is to fight chronic diseases such as cancer on a nanoscopic level. Entering the bloodstream, these nano robots will be able to monitor the internal chemistry of the body's organs, providing crucial information in fighting off these deadly diseases. The replacement of pacemakers is also underway with nano robot technology. These emerging technologies will be able to treat the heart cell directly. Other uses for these technologies are artificial antibodies, artificial white blood cells, and red, red blood cells, all allowing new non-invasive ways to treat patients of all sorts of health issues, common or uncommon. Research and development. The cost of producing and testing nanorobots is enormous. There are only a few places in the world that are studying this type of technology. One recent company that has bought into the nanorobot field is the Vancouver, Canada-based company Precision Nanosystems. They closed a $6 million project which will fund a nanomedicine manufacturing platform, Nano Assembler. I personally am really excited to see where this is going to take off. If this company does some big things, we might be seeing nanotechnology in use in society in the near future. And that's about it. Honestly, there's not a lot of information on nanorobots. I wish there was more. I could go really into depth on how they work so far, but it's such an emerging technology that things could change so quickly in the future that I don't really think it's too worth talking about.